I'm so excited to make this video, man. <laughs> All right, hey, yo, what is good, you guys? I hope everybody's having a good day. Basically, today in this video, I'm gonna show you guys a pickup, and I know every time I pick up a pair of sneakers, I'm always like, yo, this is the most hyped, anticipated, this is my rarest sneaker. But guys, honestly, this is the most hyped sneaker unboxing that I've had in a while, as well as it's my most anticipated sneaker for myself, as well as it is my rarest sneaker that I own in my collection now that I got last weekend. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of a review as well, give you guys a little bit of a story about how I obtained these sneakers. Before we start the video, like always, make sure you guys go down there, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and honestly guys, you guys are showing so much love on all of the videos that I've been putting out. I actually went to a Cactus Jack raffle the other day and I met a subscriber in person, and to me it's just really cool to be putting out content and you guys enjoy it and I get positive feedback, so I really love it and thank you guys so much. Shout out to you Ali that I met in line, and uh, yeah, let's get into this pickup. I'm so excited to show you guys what I picked up and whew, let's go. All right, so before I show you guys the sneakers, I know you guys probably have a good idea from the title above. Before I show you guys the 1985 Chicago ones, I basically want to tell you guys that like, yo, sometimes you can't be so cheap and you can't lowball and I accept that. <laughs> so I was just scrolling through the internet and you know, I saw a pair of 1985 Chicago ones pop up. Now to me, this is like a grail sneaker and it's a piece of history and I knew I needed it in my collection. I don't know why, actually I do know why, cause I'm cheap, but basically what I did was I messaged the guy, I got the pictures, I legit checked them and then I basically lowballed them. And I'm not talking about like a regular lowball, like a $50, $20, $10 lowball. I'm talking like straight up, I told them your shoes are trash and you know I can't pay that much I'm gonna probably have to pay like 10% of the price that you're asking um obviously uh, that's probably not a good idea when you really want a sneaker and somebody really doesn't want to sell a sneaker so uh, he just ghosted me like straight up like if you read the Facebook message it reminds me of my high school self man like but <laughs> but I'm just saying like yo I lowballed him so badly that he didn't want to respond to me anymore so I basically got like four homies and I told them all I'm like yo can you please message this guy like I'll come meet up with you first one he talks to her for a bit go sir second one go sir third one ghost him and fourth one shout out to you Tanvir shout out to you Pranka shout out to you Nixon because of all you guys I finally got these sneakers and thank you guys so much but yeah that was just a little bit like yo don't lowball people too much that they just don't want to respond to you. <laughs> After trying through four different people, I finally got the 1985 Jordan 1s. And honestly, guys, I'm so, so, so happy with my pickup. I'm just going to go into a little bit of a review for you guys and show you guys exactly what these sneakers are and why they're so friggin' cool to me. So, the 1985 Chicago 1s actually came in this orange Nike box right here. On the top of the box, the previous owner wrote the Air Jordans. Uh, I guess they were storing it. <laughs> in the corner, you guys can see that it has that vintage Nike Air in the corner. One of the coolest things in my opinion is this size tag right here So when I asked the previous owner about the box because I knew it's not the original box Basically what had happened in 1985 he went to Pennsylvania and he went to a Nike outlet He was telling us about how the Nike outlets are super different than the Nike outlets that are right now Basically back then it would just be a pile of sneakers and you got to go through a pile of sneakers to get it So he found the 1985 Chicago ones in this box and the really cool thing is you guys can actually see the size tag it actually says now 1995 which is exactly what he paid for the 1985 Chicago once he paid twenty dollars yo that's so sick in my opinion and just having this box and the feels and the nostalgia behind it is just so sick man you guys can see right here on the inside of the box it says original Air Jordans $50 collector's item I also asked the owner about why the box said this on the inside so basically in 1985 he bought the Chicago Jordan ones and then he wore them for a bit and he put them back in the box now his sister was running a garage sale and she tried to sell them at the garage sale for $50 Guys, if, if a pair of Chicago 1's 1985 original first pair of Jordans that came out was at a garage sale for $50 now, yo, people would be fighting for it, man. Like, they were at the garage sale for $50 and he saw that his sister was selling it and he immediately took them away and he stored them ever since. And without further ado, let me show you guys exactly what the Chicago Jordan 1's look like. Bam. So guys, right here, we have the 1985 Chicago Jordan 1s, one of the first Air Jordans to ever release. If I'm not mistaken, I believe that it's the second pair after the Bread Jordan 1s, my Holy Grails, 1985 Chicago 1s. 
damn. Just off first glance, you guys can see for a sneaker that's over 34 years old right now, it's in absolutely sick condition and that's what one thing like I knew I needed these sneakers because they weren't in terrible condition as well as I've seen 85 Chicago ones in person and they're like super beat and these are not super beat and I'm just so happy man. So yeah, basically what I'm gonna do for you guys is I'm gonna show you guys a couple of different details on the sneakers and I'll give you guys a little bit of a review. As we start off with the soles of the sneakers, you guys can see that it's a typical Air Jordan 1. Uh, the one thing that really drew me towards this pair of 85s is that the soles are not super worn. There's minimal star loss as well as minimal heel drag. Uh, some pairs of the 1985s, you can start to see the midsole underneath and it's like white here. So thankfully this pair is actually super sick and the soles are actually super firm as well. As we move on to the uppers of the sneaker, you guys can see that it's that typical Chicago colorway. And yeah, there's like scuffs and there's different marks all over the shoe. But again, the shoe is like 34 years old and I wouldn't expect anything less. And I think that it adds like a lot of character to the sneaker and it just makes it look super sick. So you guys can see a little bit of the red leather is actually a little faded, but I actually love it that way because it gives it like that character and vintage look. On the tongue, you guys can see that it says Nike Air and there's two registered trademarks beside the Nike as well as the swoosh. Overall, these 1985 Chicago ones are one of my holy grails and to have them in my size, in a good condition, I'm super pumped and yo, I'm so happy, man. The thing that I love most about, you know, collecting sneakers like this is that there's a little bit of a story behind it as well as a story for the owner. So I really wish I could have vlogged the owner's perspective of these Chicago's and he really wanted these Chicago ones to go to somebody who was gonna enjoy them. And I'm definitely gonna enjoy them. Um, I definitely wanna clean them up and I'll give you guys like a before and after kind of video or picture or something. And I'll show you guys exactly how these Chicago once turned out. Like always, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Good luck copping all your sneakers. One, two, later. <laughs>